little What do you guys suggest? Because I have, I tried to put a mattress in there for him. I read online. Babies don't like mattresses. They feel like they're sinking. So I put his pack and play mat in there. That's what he's used to. He'll sleep on that. He's a night wanderer. You know about that, right? Night wandering. I don't want to let him wander around this room. It's not safe. When I had my daughter, we had a room that was safe for her. That was different. I thought the tent was safe. Look, please don't take him just because of that. No, we're not. But we need to bring him I, so he has a safe place to sleep. So he will try pull up on it. Uh, I'll do that. For, you know, it's I'll do that. And just, hey, come on, go back to bed or talk to his okay. when you go in November. Okay. How's it going folks and welcome back to the San Joaquin News Network. Thank you guys for tuning in once again and today's video is brought to you guys by the way of this channel here. This one is going by the name of Sofia Correa. This video shows a couple officers attempting to enter this woman's home without a warrant under the excuse of wanting to check on the safety of her children. Always amusing in my opinion how cops believe the duties of their job would go to that extent because it certainly doesn't unless the child or victim is in immediate danger. But here, that isn't the case. Watch as these officers try to bully their way into this lady's house. Check this out and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below i'll see you at the end of the video so i've got these officers keeping their foot in my door right here they are entering my house without any permission against the constitution you are actually i need to throw away a dirty diaper so here are the officers and they are violating my constitutional rights here's one Here's another one of them. Can you get your camera on my face, please? No. Nope. You're in my house, so if you don't like it, you could leave. Well, we're here for the poor living conditions of your children. Yeah. I thought you were here because my two-year-old apparently was running around. You were. That's, that's the yeah. initial contact. That I and then you came you. in my house we're without my permission. We don't, we're a community caretaking act. We're here you came because in my house without my permission we're against here the because Constitution. because of the living conditions of your children. Mm -hmm. That's why DCPP is out here. Mm-hmm. You're found sleeping on the floor. Can you please move your foot or no? Hold on, get this on. Get I was this sleeping on, on the floor. Do highly you have me on camera? The person who found you. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're highly intoxicated. Well, I would love to see the video. We're walking in this yeah. back parking lot. Yeah. Barefoot and only wearing mm -hmm. a diaper. Mm -hmm. That's why DCMP is, DCP yeah. is involved. Mm -hmm. You have it on camera? We do. Okay, well then. Do what you gotta do. That, and that's why we're here. You get out of my house. No, nope. well, you said do what we gotta do, and that's why we're here. And that's why you're being combative with us. That's fine. Do you want our badge numbers as well? Sure, I'd love it. I'm 138. 728. Just so you know, you're being reported as well. That's good. I'm perfectly fine with being reported. I don't do nothing wrong. Y'all are the ones right now. Right now, this guy's got his foot in my door against the Constitution, won't even let me close my door. This guy right here. Scaring my daughter. Go away, guy. Go away, guys. Yeah, I know. You're trying to sleep. You hear her? She said, go away, guys. You're bothering her. She wants to sleep. You put her to bed. She can't go to sleep when there's strange men at her door. Well, we're here talking to you. She was about asleep. Their, about their health and well-being. Well, then you should have came when it happened if it was so serious. You did come when it happened. I was here and I spoke with you. And you here. left. Yeah, I Because did. nothing was wrong. Okay. Are you so. trying to make quota? If you say so. Quota? <laughs> if something was so wrong, you would have taken them earlier. Well, DC and Pee wasn't out here, so now we're out here. All right, well, now you need to move your foot out of my door yeah. because this is unconstitutional. I'm it's trying not. to go sit down. It is co unconstitutional. You can go have a you seat. You will lose your badges. Go right ahead. I don't need to go have a seat. I'm not going to have a seat while you're standing you at my you door. You have a seat. No, I did not. You I have it on camera. <laughs> you're fucking it. funny. All right. Well, this situation's not funny at all. No, it's not. I know. I well, agree. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're starting to come around and seeing our point of view. Yeah. A little word of advice I would like to give anyone who is watching right now. I would just like to say that if there are police at your door, do not open it. I'm not too sure about all of you, but I was taught from a very young age to never open the door for strangers, especially ones who feel like they're entitled to be there equipped head to toe with body armor and weapons. When coming across police officers and dealing with them, it is best to never answer their questions nor argue with them. They are only more than likely to just dumb you down to their level of intelligence. It's not like we haven't seen this happen over time and time again. 
And for them, it just doesn't seem to get old. Keep watching, folks. What's your supervisor's name? I want them to come out here. Sergeant Martin. Martin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you call him out here? Okay. 138 Sierra 100. The subject that we're at at the beach house with in room 119 is requesting a supervisor. You don't have a warrant. You can't be we in my house. This is a legal entry. I ex it's not you do need a warrant. Oh, so you don't need a warrant to come into somebody's house. No. I explained to you why. <laughs> Your sergeant's going to love that. Okay. You do need a warrant. Get the fuck out of my house. That's that's a great language to speak in front of your children, by the way. Doesn't matter. Okay. I can do whatever I want. I have, you know, you take an oath to uphold freedom of speech. I can do whatever I want. This is great to pull in front of my children while they're asleep. Make them wake up so we're you can here, see them. We're here because of you. You said you needed to see my kids. I brought them out and now you won't get your foot out of my door. Oh. I, I, because of me, what? I told you. What was going to happen if you continued being disorderly with us and towards DCMP? Not even being disorderly. Okay. You guys came in my house without my permission. We, I'm not uh, even being disorderly. No, I'm, I'm, you can keep saying that over and over again. I explained it to you multiple times. You choose not to listen. And if that's, if that's your, uh, if that's the way you want to go, fine by me. But you came in my house without a warrant. That's illegal. Warrant. It's not. You do, and you don't have to lie to me. I have cops in my family, okay, sweetheart? Not a sweetheart. Don't care. Like I said, constitutional rights, I can say whatever I want. You take an oath to uphold that. Can you get my your foot out of my door? No, no. Now you're just going to keep it there against the Constitution. Illegal entry right here. Right here, this guy right here. Legal entry. You just want to sleep and they're bothering you because they won't get out of our house and respect our constitutional rights. My supervisor's on his way, ma'am. That's wonderful. Oh, and this guy's got his foot back in my door too, even though I keep asking them to get their feet out of my door because mm -hmm. it's against the constitution. And which part of the constitution is this officer asked what part of the constitution his actions are violating. He will definitely not be the first officer to ask this question. There are still many officers and regular people out there who still do not know their rights. But to answer for those who still don't know what amendment this violates, these officers are in violation of this woman's Fourth Amendment rights. Again, officers nor any public official can enter your home without a warrant present. Not even CPS can enter your home or check on your kids without a warrant nor court order. Keep watching, folks. You can't come in my house without a warrant. Your supervisor's going to explain it to you. Explain it to me? Yeah, okay. he's going to let you know. I know, you want to sleep, but these guys won't let you. We're not keeping your ch kid, uh, children up. Yes, you are. You woke them up and you're keeping them up because you won't leave. I'm asking you to get your foot out the door so I can go fucking lay her down, but you won't let me. You are keeping my children up. You want to say that again? You're the one who made them wake up. He's saying he ain't keeping my children up, but they won't get their foot out my door. We're about to wrap up, then, okay? <laughs> so, and he said that my, my kids are getting taken. Is that true? I never said that. 
He did. He said, my kids are going to get taken. And they won't, right or wrong, they need a warrant to come in. They can't have their foot in my door. Wow. My daughter's really scared. scared right now, miss. Look, I'm a good mom. I'm not a shitty mom. It's really upset me right now that my daughter's got to deal with this. Can you please... So you know it's a the constitution. They can't do it, okay? So it was just the way the referral came in that your house was, you know, had a I understand his sister was fucking pissed off because I broke up with him. I understand that. I know. Because if it was such an issue, I've been living here since July. Somebody would have called. You know what I'm saying? But it's kind of funny how the day after I break up with somebody, that's when the call comes through. And I told her, because her son came knocking at my door, because her son always wanted to be at my house. And I said, yo, your son got to stop knocking at my door. He always wakes up my kids. My kids like to be up at night most of the time. Nocturnal, babies, whatever, you know. So all I said, you go be a mom. Oh, I didn't mean to cut. That's okay. Go ahead. Finish. I thought you were done. So all we wanted to come and tell you was that somebody's going to be following up tomorrow. Okay. Um, we want to try to bring out a pack and play because the tent is not really safe. I know He climbs like out of it. I know. Look. Miss, I had a pack and play. I'll show you pictures if you want. Mm -hmm. He was pulling up and trying to climb out of it. You gotta try to keep it because he's too little. He's what do you guys suggest? Because I have, I tried to put a mattress in there for him. I read online. Babies don't like mattresses. They feel like they're sinking. So I put his pack and play mat in there. That's what he's used to. He'll sleep on that. He's a night wanderer. You know about that, right? Night wandering. I don't want to let him wander around this room. It's not safe. When I had my daughter, we had a room that was safe for her. That was different. I thought the tent was safe. Look, please don't take him just because of that. No, we're not. But we need to bring him I, so he has a safe place to sleep. So he you will try pull to up on it. Uh, I'll do that. A, you know, it's I'll do that. And just, hey, come on, go back to bed or talk to his baby okay. when you go in November. Okay. Hey, this is what's going on. What should I do? I will do that. I'm so sorry. They made it so hard for me to see anybody. Nobody wants to accept new pay. I've been fighting for these kids. Well, I'll cut I mean, you're mom. making the right steps, it sounds like. She got mad because I told her to go be a fucking mother because her kid's always knocking at my fucking door. You saying, can know. you come out and hang out? Don't worry about that because you got to worry about other things. I know. Worrying about my kids. That's why I told her i said you need to get away from my door i said i'm a single mother you got a husband i said he helps you nobody helps me this is all on me i said that's why i don't want your son knocking on my door because he wakes up my kids all right so those are three things we need from you okay okay one you have to clean up you have to so i know tomorrow when they come by clean as possible yes okay? yes um, it's totally different in the morning you know what my kids go to sleep that's when i get to clean Okay, but you just have to make sure you do as best you can because, you know, the workers are going to come out and expect something. Like, I they can't come back to this again tomorrow. It will never be like this in the morning. Nighttime, any night you come in our house, it's going to be fucking crazy. Maybe just, you know, start home. little, like, pick the clothes up, put them in one That box. happens every night. This is an everyday ordeal. Put your trash bag, put your the trash away. Here, look, like I'll that. show you. I'll sh the more trash. More trash. More trash in here. What trash. There's no trash. I have hella trash bags. You want to talk to my girlfriend? Yeah, I do. Okay. I do because you guys are unconstitutional right now. You won't even want to close my door. Yeah. We're getting ready to leave. So you want to oh, yeah, I do about you too. Okay. Absolutely. So, those are just things that we need. If you guys enjoyed this one, I want you to go ahead and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about these officers' actions and what do you think they could have done differently here if they should have at all? I believe so. I also believe it was a mistake on the lady's part for opening her door and arguing with them. I want to make it a point clear that the officers having their foot in the doorway is only an obvious act of trying to display some dominance. Again, if you have police at your door without a warrant, you absolutely do not have to open it. Make sure to go check out the original video and channel link in the description down below. Make sure to let them know San Joaquin News Network sent you guys. Also, if you guys haven't yet already, please do be sure to hit the subscribe icon as well as the bell notifications for future videos. Thank you guys for tuning in once again and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Get back.